The team urged the president to heed the cry of the common man and address the imminent issues affecting the country at the moment. The team has condemned the brutal killing of innocent Kenyans by the government. They wonder why the police are using more force on people who are not armed. The police must have observed the law and adhere to, the, to it. Demonstrations are enshrined in the Kenyan constitution and the constitution says this, as I quote, under the article 37 of Kenya's 2010 constitution, every person has the right, peaceable and unarmed to, to assemble, to demonstrate, to picket and to present petitions to public authorities. This must be done in peace and the police are supposed to guide the demonstrators uh, together with those who are picketing. The police therefore must stop using live bullets on innocent Kenyans but offer protection to those who are demonstrating. A case in point is yesterday's demonstrations where police were the ones attacking the citizens. In addition, the team is appealing to the leadership of this country led by the President uh, William Samoya Ruto to consider a genuine and a constructive dialogue to foster unity in, uh, in our country. The President should be a sign of national unity and the team, urge, we, we urge the President to stand out and bring the country together. The main problem affecting our country today is being driven by our elected leaders. We are sudden to note that eight months after elections, the spirit of politics is still at the peak. The spirit of political affiliations, where elected members in various political parties serve the interests of, po of political leaders without minding the interests of common monainchi is ailing this nation. This was evidenced by the words that were said by majority leader of the National Assembly. And he, I quote, He Bill Lazima Ipite. We kindly appeal to our president and all political leaders to grow above the political parties and serve the interests of Kenyans. We as the church in Yenga Dinari also urge the concerned bodies to help us tame the issues of hate speech among our leaders and Kenyans, uh, Kenyan citizens at large. Amos chapter number 3 verse 3 says, how can two walk together unless they agree? The other issue that is affecting us is that we are appealing <coughs> to the government to address the pressing issues affecting the country, such as inflation, the high inflation that is evident now, high cost of living, high cost of taxation, and political instability. And this is brought about by the newly uh, signed bill, financial bill 2023, which the court has suspended. But the government continues to implement it amidst the court uh, suspension. The former Prime Minister can address these issues other than uh, sensitizing the community. And just as they say that uh, the current president was a student, a political student. Is there any way they can meet and talk? Of course, we know that the president has had some hard, hard stance, uh, saying that he's the elected leader and he doesn't have time to sit. But uh, if, if the former prime minister has a chance, can he make a move to sit with the, the, the current president? Is there any way he can do that? We are also urging him 
you refrain because the people suffering are just the common people. The common man is suffering. So we would urge him to seek peace rather than uh, seek uh, solace in demonstrations that will cause disharmony in the community, in the society. Fred Oluendo, <coughs> Vika Rala KCK Paris, a Paris within a younger dinner. I just want to talk about the general feeling of the common man. Uh, in Kenya today, life is very unbearable and uh, we just appeal to the president and the leadership of the country to take heed, to hear the calls of Kenyans who are really suffering so that they can sit down with all stakeholders and see how the cost of living can be reduced. During uh, the campaigns, the president pledged to reduce the cost of basic commodities like fuel, electricity, and many, many other things. But immediately he was sworn in. We are seeing the basic commodities prices are increasing day after day. The president should come out and do something because Kenyans are suffering. And this is the concern of the church. Thank you. We would just advise uh, the opposition or the Azimio uh, team to look and to alternatives or how they can uh, engage the government or the people concerned so that there can be peace in the country. Because as things stand, most things are coming to a halt. Businesses cannot now operate well. Uh, transport sector is being paralyzed during demonstrations. So we just appeal that they look at other avenues of how they can engage the government so that the country can continue. Kwa majina ni Monica David, Kristo ni mwokozo wa maisha yangu. Mimi ni mwenyekiti wa kina mama katika yenga dinari. Na jambo tunalo kama wa kina mama, tunaomba raisi wetu mpendwa ili aweze akae chini na wananchi wote ambayo ni wananchi wa Kenya ili waweze wakazungumza ili nasi kama wazazi tuweze tukapata jinsi tunaweza kulea watoto wetu na wakati kama huu tunaona jinsi maisha imekuwa ngumu katika nchi yetu maafa imekuwa mingi katika nchi yetu ya Kenya watu wanauawa wasipokuwa na hatia Kwa hivyo sisi kama wakina mama tunaomba rais wetu aweze aka akae chini na wale ambayo wanaweza kukaa pamoja ili Kenya wetu iweze ikaendelea mbele. Tunahisi vibaya jinsi wanaume wetu wanaweza wanauawa watoto wetu wanauawa na tunaona ya kwamba inchi wetu inchi yetu ya Kenya mali inaendelea inaendelea mali ambayo sio vyema na wananchi wetu wa Kenya. Tunaomba gharama iweze ikarudishwa. Kuweka sufuria kwenye moto imekuwa ngumu sisi kama wakina mama. Ukienda sokoni unapata bei za vitu zimepanda. Bei vile unaezaenda kupeleka mtoto shule imepanda. Kwa hivyo tunaomba waweze wakaelewana na opposition ili Kenya yetu iweze ikaendelea mambo ya kukimbia huku na kule haitatusaidia na tunaomba ya kwamba wanapoketi pamoja wazungumze tunajua jambo njema itaweza kufanyika na mambo ya kusema ya kwamba kila jambo analotaka litaweza kuendelea jinsi anavyotaka tunajua hiyo sio uongozi tunaomba uongozi wake nili akae na watu pamoja waelewane wasikizane waweze wakapata jinsi Kenya yetu itaweza kuendelea vyema Kongo we introduce yourself tako kubedo ready Eu vou colocar o Calego
o kalego kamore kore kanyo machieg ni gohono mano wo klo ka so tnyanza ni wendo koni this is this is uh yena tabro aketeg doluo